Vishnu was my student and he was very bright. I don't know any one of you have read about that. I wrote about Vishnu. Vishnu is the real story. He was a very bright kid. And we used to, he finished his uh, MBA then. I used to teach for MBA and MCA. Then he got a job abroad. And I, while he was going, I know I was telling him, Vishnu, I want to tell you in life how you should be. He said, ma'am, your stomach is full. You can tell many things. Life is so different. I said, okay, beta, I will accept it. Because I have a very good relationship with my students. I never scold them. That doesn't mean that when they make mistake, I leave them. I'll give double punishment, actually. But you should know when to give, how to give, and how to improve. Not your negative things, you are bad, you are bad. Then they don't improve. I said, I wish you could have done better. I wish you'll do it two more times, to, you know, these questions, that kind. I was very friendly with Vishnu, and after 10, 12 years, he used to go out with a girl. And after 10, 12 years, suddenly I got a call, Vishnu wants to meet me. I said, come, come to my lab, office and meet. Normally, I will never say no to my old students. Old wine, old memories, old students are precious and rare. I thought, Vishnu, come on, now, let's see. Vishnu came, he was wearing an expensive watch, gold rim, uh, specs, everything was fine. I said, Vishnu, where are you living now? Because everyone is globe trotting nowadays. He said, ma'am, I, I live in two or three countries. I have a house in a uh, defense colony in Delhi. I have a house in Sadashiv Nagar. Then I have a house in uh, Malbar. He said, to Vishnu, I'm not income tax officer. Where you have a house? I just said, where do you stay? He said, I have a company in Singapore. I'm doing exceedingly well. Then uh, he was looking sad. I said, better, why are you looking sad? Uh, then uh, sh show me your wife's picture. Let us see how is your family. He showed his wife was as beautiful as a model. And uh, he has a child, very nice child. I said, you are the picture perfect uh, family, Vishnu. And I recognized he's not the, she was not the same girl with who was going out. I said, okay, things happen in life. He said, I'm very unhappy. I don't know why. I said, tell me why. He, I should have sent him to your class, I think, here. He said, I'm not happy whatever I do. I said, why? He said, my daughter comes to me whenever she wants something from me. Otherwise, she's always busy on mobile. And my wife, whom I married, is very good looking, smart, everything is fine. But she also talks to me when she wants a data, client's database. She was selling carpets, I think. He said, I feel so lonely. I said, uh, do you have any friends? He said, no, I don't have friends. I said, why you don't have friends? He said, I should have made friendship when I get some advantage from them. Then I should make friendship. Now I'm f autonomous. I self-fulfilled. I don't require. I laughed at him and I said, that is a problem. You have not developed a good human relationship throughout your life. Money was so important. No, I never say money is less important. But it is not all in all in life. He was bright, he had money, but he did not have happiness. The reason is, all human relations he made in terms of the advantage. If I meet so and so, then I should have this advantage. If I call someone for dinner, I should have an advantage. There are numerous relationships in life where there is no advantage. For everything there is a price in life, except mother's love. Except mother's love. Good friends, Good friends, good teachers, good friends, good teachers, healthy relationship with your colleague is so important in life, much more than extra money. Because when you have difficulties, you can discuss with the peers, that's your friends. When you have emotional difficulties, you can have your wife, husband, your brother, sister, you can discuss that. It's very important to have good relationships in life. And you should never measure them by money. And that's what exactly Vishnu did. I told Vishnu, to improve in your life, forget that I should have an advantage. You should never be a self-centered person. Everything is meant for me. Good house, meant for me. Good relationship, good uh, anything good you see in life, it is more for me. No. Money is there to lead a reasonably good life, to have a house, transport, old age pension, 
medical help because medical is very expensive nowadays. Your children education. And you must draw a line somewhere enough is enough. Then the money is there to share with others. Sharing is caring. And you have never realized. You have amassed your knowledge, not given to anybody other than I'll become consultant, then I'll you pay me, I will give my knowledge. I'll make friendship when I have an advantage. And your child, you have brought up in that atmosphere and the child also follows you. She wants something from you, she will talk to you. Children are, it's not that children are very naive, they are very smart, I have noticed. Between her, her father and mother, they know which is the path of least resistance. When father says no, they go to mother. When mother says no, go, then go to father. If both of them say no, they go to grandparents. So when my children were young, I made a deal with them, with Narayan Murthy. When I say no, you should always say no. When you say yes, I will always say yes. And I told my, grand, my parents, that means my children's grandparents, when we say no, you can't say yes. Okay? The same answer should come from grandparents and parents. Then they realize they can't play the game. Like my son said, I want to have a big TV. I said, beta, you're in class 12th, you should concentrate on your study. He said, why, oh, you people also see TV. I said, okay, we'll not see TV. I did not have TV connection for one long year. Neither I will have, nor you will have. You have to lead by example. You know, it is not that I see secretly and he will not see. Then he says, okay, he will also do that. You have to lead by example. Said, I told my daughter, I want to buy a new dress. I said, fine, you can buy, but you have to retire one. She told me, what about you? I said, I will not buy at all. Chalo. It said, bringing up children is not easy. You know, olden days, you know, in my time, there will be seven, eight children in the family. Mother will cook. She will not know where we will be going. We will eat. I had 75 first cousins. It was, a, everybody has a family tree. I have a family forest. <laughs> so there will be a cook morning to evening. Two cooks will be there making roti. You know, I am from North Karnataka. We will eat roti. And there will be a sambar, there will be a sabji. We, nobody knows who goes where. And all seven, eight of us will go to one school. Other seven, eight will go to college. That was, era was different. Today I have only two children. And you said, beta, why did you get a plate? Are you warm? Oh, then wear the sweater. The definition of sweater is when mother feels cold, what the child wears is called sweater. So, we concentrate on children so much, but we forget the most important thing is human touch. Child should be confident. Child should share. Child should have compassion. 